Hey everybody, so I got my hands on that Tomos Bullet A3 moped and man, there was a lot of problems with it, so I want to give you a sort of status update. Right now my balcony sort of seems like a Saw movie, or at least it does to me. We have our rear suspension for the rear tire. This is our front fender. Let me try to sneak around her. Holy, okay, we don't want to step on that guy there. That's one of our, that's our chain guard. We have yet to paint the uh, front fork supports, but here's our main body of the Tomos A3. So, all right, let me tell you a couple of things that went wrong with it. First off, they basically just kicked whatever carburetor that fit. So I thought the carburetor that I bought was the correct one. I'm going to have to do some modifications to the left side in order for the carburetor to fit. Now over there you can see the front forks painted red. And the handlebars. Oh my god, the wiring. They basically just ripped apart the wiring so you can just kickstart the thing and go. No lights, no nothing. So going to need a second coat of paint. We also need to finish a couple of the, you know, just support stuffs for the fenders. The rear framework. As, and that muffler, I don't know what, where they got it or what they did, but that is not the muffler that's supposed to be sitting on this moped. And that horrible yellow-orange thing, yeah, that's the seat. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. So those guys are just sitting there and waiting their judgment day until we get a second coat of paint on the main body, which is looking okay. I can see that it's not coming out 100% awesome, but from that horrible horrible shade of uh you know lead red bleached to orange this is a big improvement the biggest problem while i'm working on the balcony is well though i have the engine right here when i'm taking everything apart and actually doing look I'm, i live on the second floor so that's basically my working space right there between those two parked cars and it's not exactly the easiest working environment so it's been uh it's been an adventure uh i've grown up fixing bikes and mopeds and small two-stroke engine kind of stuffs so this isn't the most difficult thing about this entire adventure is finding a place to work because my god i would rather be in that you remember the movie Saw, the room where they have hypodermic needles you had to gu guide through? That's basically what this is, okay? This is pretty much just like elbow to elbow in, in distance here. There's not a lot of working space, so we basically just went to the far back, started painting components, and then just tied them up and then came forward, and now we're just going to let them dry, wait eight maybe 12 hours give it a second coat which will probably be about two o'clock in the morning hence i set up the led lighting so hopefully there will be another update and the next update will be this guy kicked over and uh and running cheers beers and bunny ears